how-to video is my first time doing this process, so I wanted to share it with you all. So please be kind if I get things wrong. If you do try this, then make sure you're wearing eye protection and gloves. Also importantly, follow the safety guidelines on the side of the bottle. I would recommend that you be over the age of 18 to do this process or have an adult with you if you do it. But again, you could be like 14 years old or higher or something like that, you need to be of your parents. The process called cold blowing is a way to cut a steel in a nice gunmetal colour. It is achieved by using a chemical called selenium dioxide. It provides a small measure of corrosion resistance, so it's a nice way to colour and protect your hard work. I have seen that manufacturers of steel products such as guns and tools have used this process for a very long time. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you learn a lot during this process. Um, it's my first time, just go for it. Hello YouTube, I want to talk to you about um, treating my steel. If I leave it in the state that it is, there's a good chance it will rust over time uh, when we have various humidities or whatever or I just get water on it, it will go rusty. I've got a few parts here for my machine that I need to um, coat in the cold blue and I'm going to dip it into this and immerse it for about three minutes. Um, the thing is I only did um, this piece, as you can see darker here, for about 20 seconds so changed it so I'm interested to see how this stuff will go. After I do it I have to wash it off um, or rinse it thoroughly in the water. I've got my bucket of water here. Um, I'm using this uh, Philips Professional Cold Blue. So we'll see how that works out. I've read the instructions. I'll try and do my best. I've watched a couple of videos already on YouTube how to do it. So I'll have a go at doing it myself. So, well, let's just go for it. I'll grab some, uh, well, I've got my gloves so I can pull it all out. I'll drop this part in first and see how it looks. Leave it in the water, make it cover it. You can see it's just sitting in there. I can see it changing color as I'm looking at it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I can just wash the water out of the way. I've got the water there, the cold blue out of the way whenever I need tea. So it's taking effect. Let's see how it goes. My worry is that I make it look terrible, but this is a part I can't really see on the machine once it's on, so at the moment it's doesn't appear to be taken as quickly as the uh, the other stuff. Or the other one that I did. But it did say three minutes on the other thing, so we'll see how this one looks. If I'm honest, I don't think I cleaned that part, so I'll, uh, I might have to give it a clean up and have another go. Um, I think if you scotch bright them, you can take them back down to the original surface. But I think this will stop it from rusting once it's all coated, which will be good. Yeah, it's darkening off nicely. But the other parts I've cleaned up, so we should be alright. Dark enough, good, nicely, nicely good, good nicely. It's getting darker and darker now. And if you can see, if we get it out, have a little look. Yeah, a little bit longer in there. I'll throw the ring in now to get it ready. Some of these other parts. Let me see how they come out. That's looking pretty good now, just a little bit longer. And then we've got the flatter pieces to go in. Yeah, I'm happy with that. See, it's gone nice and dark. Hopefully it will never go rusty. I guess it might do, but who knows, right? I'll give that a dry for a second. Let's see how the ring's doing. Looking all right. I should have got a more appropriate container for this. I was thinking about my larger parts, but we won't worry about that. The shaft's going dark quickly. Looks great. I guess the different types of steels will react differently the different uh, 
compositions there inside them. Some might fight against the, uh, I guess you're corroding the surface with something that's not going to corrode it. Yes, this ring's coming out nicely so far. Leave a little bit longer. It's not really a blue that it comes out, it's kind of a nice black colour. But that's fine, it's cheaper than taking it down to the uh, the guys to go and plate it for me, so I can't complain of that. What I do is get them black passivated, so passivated, yeah. Yeah, that bar looks good. Okay. So we'll also give it a good rinse off so it doesn't get the flash rust effect that happens apparently if you leave it out in the air. So that's good. My other piece, the this bit, doesn't appear to be changing colour. So maybe there's something I've not understood about that material. It's not made out of aluminium. It's so I believe it's E8. Okay. That's my little washer. Throw that down there, I'll clear it all up afterwards. For this part, it's not changing colour at all. Maybe just needs to leave it in there a lot longer. Put one of these plates in here. It's the body's arms, they're effectively the arms because they're moving. Balance that there. See if thing change colour. It's just made from some normal mild steel with these arms. I think they should be enough for the job. And um, see how they react to it. But the other piece, it's just not changing colour. And these are changing colour quickly. It's already going quite dark. It's great. It would look good once everything else is bolted to it. And I know it's just not going to go rusty straight away. stubborn so I don't know what I've missed with that but I'll do a bit of research and maybe one of you guys will tell me how stupid I am and that it's a stainless steel piece or something I thought it was just a bit of steel yeah maybe it's stainless then well, at least you know you can't do it to stainless if it was last piece is this piece here only 250 mils so I'm hoping I can cover it nicely. Yeah, I just have to shake it. So it's just constantly covering it. Get this out of the way for you. Yeah, it's covered it. So that's good. We just let that change colour. Go nice and dark. Changing nicely. Give these a little wipe off. Find some tissue. Oh, I've got cloth actually. Oh, firing things around. Let's see how they look with them being dry. Nice dark grey colour that's drying off from the water. But that looks pretty cool. That gunmetal colour. Maybe that's where it all comes from. These wordings for things, for colours. Yeah. Pleased with that. Just a bit of water on there. They dry off, but it's got a cool, cool grey look. Or a hint of blue maybe in there, I don't know. I don't feel that I can see any blue in there. 
This is, I guess, my stainless steel piece. <laughs> I thought it was a steel. Because it hasn't reacted, and maybe you can do it to stainless, and maybe I've got some fancy alloy that doesn't react to it at all. This is a little clean up. A little bit of black comes off when you rub it, but I guess that's to be expected. Yeah, that's come out really nicely. And there's the ring. And this is the hinge pin for the assembly for when it pivots around. Uh, that looks, looks nice. Yeah, it's got a real good colour to it. Last of all, we have this big plate. Let's wipe that surface. And we're going to submerge that in the water. See how it looks. Yeah, that looks brilliant. Stay nice. This is an old um, bucket I had for when I was doing some painting. It's the only thing I had to hand to put the water in. So yeah, let's give it a clean off. This is a dirty rag, but it's actually been through the wash a bunch of times and it maintains the stain. Obviously I wouldn't go and use it in the bathroom. I don't think anyone would find that appropriate. But no, I'm really pleased with how this has come out. It's got that gunmetal grey, which might be what this is meant to do to make things have the gunmetal look. Or maybe this is why gunmetal, <laughs> the wording, exists. Again, I'll probably be corrected on that. Or maybe not. It's nice to learn things. But that is a cool colour. Absolutely brilliant, that is. Looking forward to making some other steel parts and giving them a, a coating to make them look that good. Super. Thanks for watching. Thanks for learning with me as you go. Unless you already knew how to do this. And if you do, maybe you can give me some tips for next time. Alright, see you later.